healthy or not. Luckily, our next guest has a roadmap for getting on track. Health and fitness expert Jenny Evans is here with more on that. You have a list of things which I love because you start with the most important one, which is making a list. I mean, I know this is the no-brainer and everybody's heard this before of sit down and make a shopping list. Mm -hmm. But honestly, if you think, oh, I don't have time to make a list, it saves you so much time in the long run that if you just say, I'm going to just take 15 minutes once a week and make one trip to the grocery store, it saves you so much more time than, you know, you're on your way home and you're like, okay, what are we going to have tonight? Now i got to swing into the grocery store because everybody else is in there, so it's busier than normal. And then the sponge cake just happens to be on sale when you walk in. That's really it. And you're hungry when you're there and you, right. have, you have really good intentions of eating healthy, but you're just kind of like sucked into the moment. So make that commitment to make that shopping list because it does save you time in the long run. And it saves you money as well. It's not just... Yeah, I mean, you're just getting the essentials instead of, like, continually buying all kinds of things that maybe you'll get around to using them again or, or not. And it just decreases a lot of the stress. You get home, you already know what you're having. It's not the stress of, you've already put in a long day. The last thing you want to do is, now, okay, what are we going to have? How are we going to get those ingredients? It's right there. Well, and you mentioned knowing what you want to do because a lot of times I'll run out of ideas, but you're suggesting if you have a theme night, that will help you that idea. Yeah, even if you're really good at making a list, but you're like, okay, what what do I even put on this list? If you just said, okay, Monday, we'll always eat something Italian. Tuesday, we're going to do Indian food. Wednesdays is always Mexican to kind of help hone in on what type of a recipe is it that, that we're going to make. It kind of makes things fun, too. I like that, a roadmap. All right, if you are at a loss, you, you are in the grocery store, maybe you have your smartphone, that can save you as well. There's a map for yeah. that. There are so many recipe apps that you can download that will tell you, you know, how much time does this take for you to prepare, what are the ingredients, so you have a shopping list right there, it will even tell you sometimes the nutritional info, and if you're stuck, like, I don't even know what we want, there's some that has a spinner, all you have to do is just shake your phone, and a recipe pops Seriously? Up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it just tells you, how does this sound? I have to try that one. Yeah. Snacks are a downfall for a lot of us, especially that afternoon. And the vending machine is really easy to go to as well. I think snacks are a really, really easy place to start. So on the website, I've created a whole list of things that really require no food preparation whatsoever that you can just throw in your bag. They're easy, convenient. So we were talking about Nutella. A little bit of Nutella and banana makes a great snack. Maybe some cottage cheese and fruit. How about some like lunch meat or a can of tuna and some crackers? Hummus is fantastic, whether you want to put it on crackers, on pita bread, dip some vegetables in there. So, so get a little protein, get you fueled through the rest of the day. Protein is really essential when you're having a snack because it kind of it slows down that release of energy in your body, which means it makes you feel fuller for longer. It's just a lot more satisfying. That's good. Smoothies, I've kind of been turned on to smoothies and working some uh, kale and things into those. Yeah. Oh, you're even getting crazy putting the vegetables crazy. in there. That's good. <laughs> Uh, one of my favorite ways to make a smoothie for my daughter is we just go to Target, buy these bags of frozen fruit. Literally, I'll take a handful of fruit, put it in the blender, a glob of yogurt, a little bit of water, hit blend, and it's done. It's so simple and easy. And I think especially, you know, if you're thinking even like starting it out as a breakfast, yeah. I think when we start the day out on a really positive note, it's easier than to just keep making healthy choices as you go along throughout the day. But it does make a great snack as well. We have run out of time, but you mentioned your website where you have all of these ideas on it, and your website is eatmoveandimprove.com. And she is Jenny Evans, and her tips and a link all on carolevin.com uh, under the news tab. Thank you yep. very much. Now you can make me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like cooking cigarettes. Thank you. It does.